Greetings YouTube, I'm going to be linking to a couple of different articles today, um, and both of them deal with violence and corporal punishment. The first one is about Adrian Peterson, a member of the NFL, apparently he's a running back, or whatever that is. And he was recently indicted uh, for injuring his four-year-old son, according to sources in law enforcement, Peterson used a tree branch to discipline the boy, leaving cuts and bruises. Peterson's lawyer says the client meant no harm, quote unquote. Adrian is a loving father who uses his judgment as a parent to discipline his son. Well, I have some news for you, um, Adrian Peterson. Peterson, if, and I'm not going to call you into question about whether you are a loving parent or not, but what I am going to tell you is if that is your judgment, it is absolute crap. And you have no concept whatsoever about what the word discipline means. If you equate the word discipline with violence, you need psychological help. Now, the second article I'm going to link to deals with Sean Hannity, who is a uh, neocon political pundit. To the best of my knowledge, uh, Sean Hannity has never held any kind of political office. Um, and this grew out of the discussion concerning Adrian Peterson, so there's a district, there's a direct link. Um, he did, however, say that he felt that Adrian Peterson had went too far. That's very big of him. But the most important quote for me of this little blurb I'm going to be linking to is, quote, unquote, but my problem here is, um, here is, do parents have the right to instill their values in their children? Yes, they do. My problem here is, is that violence is not a value. So, to me, the there's a dichotomy here. There is what the parent thinks they're teaching their child when they use violence. And then there's actually what they are teaching their child. Now, I've covered this before. In fact, I covered this once and it was the only video on my entire channel over 2,700 videos I've ever had to block comments on because such of the vile, nasty, violent things that were being said to me and to those on my channel in response to the fact that I said it's not okay to hit kids. And I've said it since then. I got daring. I took the topic on more than once and I'm taking it on again. Parents think they are teaching their child about what is going on at that moment. The child misbehaves in, in, in manner X. They hit their child with the concept in mind that if I hit my child right here and right now, I will instill in them the desire to never do X again. That's what the parent thinks they are doing. They understand cause and effect. The parent does. Children very rarely do. At least not in the manner the parent thinks they do. What the child is actually being taught, however, is this. When you get angry, use violence. It's a simple lesson. One line long. No complexities. And that is what the child is being taught in that moment. The parent gets angry. The parent hits them. Sometimes with the hand, sometimes with the fist, sometimes with the stick. That's not the lesson the parent intended to teach, but it's the lesson the child takes away from that encounter. When you get angry, use violence. Now what happens when that child gets a little older, if they have a younger sibling? when they become a teenager, when they become an adult. If that is the lesson they took away from that experience, and I can guarantee you, any parent that hits their child once is going to reinforce that lesson again and again, they're going to apply that lesson in the future. When you get angry, use violence. Maybe they'll smack their sibling around. Maybe their boyfriend or girlfriend. Maybe their parent when they're older. Maybe the drunk in the bar. Maybe a guy in the street. 
Maybe they'll get themselves killed doing it. Maybe they'll get themselves arrested and thrown in prison for it. Now, the lesson the parents should be teaching their child is when you get angry, become calm. It's incredibly hard to do. Monumentally hard to do. It's one of the reasons that being a parent is so difficult. Because when you get angry, you have to bring yourself to calm. And if you teach your child that lesson, they're not going to beat their sibling, or their boyfriend, or their girlfriend, or the drunk at the bar. Because that's the lesson we need to be teaching people. When you get angry, bring yourself to calm. And then you can solve the problem at hand. Because you're not angry anymore. Because you're clear-headed. Because you can use reason and logic and thought. That you aren't being fueled by the amygdala, by your adrenal glands. You're not being driven by that emotional rush to get instantaneous results for a problem that doesn't have instantaneous answers. So there's a lesson that parents think they're teaching, and it isn't the lesson they're actually teaching. Adrian Pearson didn't teach that to his son. He taught him when you get angry, you hit somebody with a stick. Sean Hannity didn't, didn't get that lesson when he was a kid. And now I terrify the fact that he's probably not transferring that lesson to his children. And the lesson all of these people learn, and they are continuing to perpetuate, is that when you get angry, use violence. It's a lesson we don't need. It's a lesson we need to to eradicate completely, it must be eliminated from our species. We must teach when you are angry, get calm. Be reasonable. Employ sympathy, empathy, and compassion. Put yourself into the situation at hand. Project yourself into the role of the person that you are trying to discipline. Why? Are they acting the way they are acting? Think about the situation complexly. It's difficult. It is so difficult. Take it from someone who learned firsthand that anger equals violence. And I've spent decades overcoming that. But it's possible. But if we do not instill that lesson in children, they will not have to spend decades overcoming that. So, viewers of YouTube, do me proud. Let's discuss these situations like adults. Let's bring things to calm before we engage in our comment writing.